September is Child Passenger Safety Month, and a New Hampshire mom wants to make sure parents know that something as simple as picking the wrong winter coat can compromise the safety of their car seat. Experts say thick, puffy winter jackets can result in 10 centimeters of space in the car seat's harness, making it too loose to be effective in a crash. So, Dahlia Rizik designed a new coat which allows a child to be buckled in safely. And I talked to her about how it works. Oh, that's so you can see on the cart on the back of this coat here, the shoulder seam is set further back than a traditional shoulder seam, mm -hmm. and it opens along the sides. So mm -hmm. when you have your child in the car seat, you put the coat on at home the way you would a normal coat. You put them in the car seat the way you normally do. You pull the harness straps over. And then the difference in this coat is the way that front panel is cut out. So when you pull the flap aside, the harness is directly on the chest and shoulders with no puffy fabric in the way at all which actually allows parents to get that harness at the same setting as if the child had no coat at all without taking the coat off. And if your child is an overheater, like you had said, mm -hmm. you could just leave that to pull it to the side like that. And then if you have a child who's an unbuckler, mine used to like to wait till the <laughs> to buckle. Yeah. you can cover it right back up again. And then it's out of sight, out of mind. So it kind of fits three needs, keeping them cool in the car seat, keeping them warm out of the car seat, keeping them safe in this car seat and keeping them buckled in if you need them to stay buckled in. But it's really that simple, just one step. Well, this week is Child Passenger Safety Week, ending this weekend with National Seat Check Saturday. According to the Traffic Safety Marketing Commission in 2019, on average, two children under 13 were killed and nearly 375 were hurt every day while riding as passengers in vehicles. Of those, nearly 40% were unrestrained.